Street Certified Podcast, you know what I'm saying? Skin Rex, El Gapo, man. Anybody who listening, y'all can follow us at Street Certified News. We got Big Bo Deal in the building. Man, how you feeling, man? It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Exactly. We got Devil Blocks in the building. This is one of the artists. This is one of the artists, yeah. Okay, so one thing, man, I know you did the big transition this year from being like majority of artists to like a, a manager like you got the management company just popping off crazy right now yeah just grinding working hard so tell me about like the management company like what like what's your goals what you see happening for 2019 man, man uh, big things man it's called rts uh management you know what i'm saying we just uh you know it's me i got a partner named black and, and a partner named cash we got uh l hitter we got devil blocks we got um uh, we got caps we got uh, we got Banks, the artist out of Cincinnati. Okay. Like we just working, man. So we we just pushing these artists, man, and, and trying to lead them in the right direction with uh, career one. All right, bet. So yeah. how did how did I remember like 2018, bro? That was like El Hill, yeah, man. That was yeah, that was his yeah, year. yeah. Like how did that whole how, how did that whole play pop off, man? Like how'd you link up with him? How did the record break? Like he uh he had a uh, uh he was signed to my man over at uh, Dub Life, and uh they had got him to a spot. Where they was didn't really know where to go and needed some help. I saw he, you know, he's from out west and everything. Mm-hmm. We sat down, had a meeting, put everything together, and I led him to the motherfucking uh to the to, to the, the to land. the promised land. Oh, yeah. That's, so that's what did, we do. Y'all did something big with Atlantic, right? Yeah, yeah, APG Atlantic. Yeah. Right. So what's coming up next with with El Hitter? He got a project about to drop called Proven Wrong. Uh, he actually we going out to L. A. In the next week or two to finish the, the project, so that'll be dropping like August. Okay, you know okay. Saying? Now, also in 2018, bro, man, you really like went crazy on the internet with the motivation videos. Yeah, you know that the the apple lick, like the apples, and you know, cause everything started from that apple, right? Adam and Eve, you know what I'm saying? That's just the beginning of the time, the apple. So I just get when I bite that apple, it make me give y'all some real shit. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you was like for real, you like set the internet on fire, man. You had like a lot of even other artists I felt like was trying to like say yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm a trendsetter, man. Right. I'm a trendsetter. I'm one of the realists though. And, and then I'm humble. I like to have fun and live right. life. You know what I'm saying? And now I see this year you on the teaching. You was like, you know what I'm saying? You had you brought the chalkboard out and everything. I gotta teach them because these little guys, man, ain't nobody the OGs that's out here now, man, they like they pussies and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They scared to talk to the shorties and then and then they judge them. I don't judge them because I was right. in they in their position. I came up the same way they came right. up. Right. And then you know I can talk what I want to talk. I say what I want to say because everybody know my gangsta ain't never been on probation. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Nah, my gangsta definitely. ain't never been Yo, on you trial. be pulling up. I mean, we see you yeah. too. You pull up on blocks. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Show love to everybody. Everybody show love to you. Exactly. And that's like that's that's a real breath of fresh air, especially in Chicago, because it seems like when an artist. Or a businessman, or anybody gets to your level, they stop coming around. You yeah, know no, I can't do that. I mean, I help tear down those same blocks. Right, so I'm, I'm obligated to help build them back up. Right. You know so let's talk about your artists, man. I see you brought one of your artists up. Yeah, Devil Blocks, yeah, man. Devil Blocks, man. What's going on with you, bro? Just good, chilling, man. Staying consistent. That's all. Tell me, tell me about the new music you got coming. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you got a new project. You got yeah. some that's gonna pop out. Well, we just dropped. Um, my feature with El Hill is called The Demon. Mm-hmm. We just dropped that one on YouTube. Then we working on this other one called I Need. It's an R&B song for women. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm going to drop next year. So. All right. So, like, how you see yourself as an artist? Like, you like a... Like, what would you kind of consider yourself as an artist? Like, I just, I'm mixed. Like, I can do, I can do both. I can rap like saying, yeah, I do it all. Man. That's what I try to do. do it all. All right. I just call myself a vibe because I just vibe to everything. Okay, so how you link get linked up with Big Bo, man? I mean, y'all y'all got the the hottest, you know what I'm saying? The hottest situation going on in the city right now, man. Like, how'd you get linked up with Bo? I actually got linked up to my, my uncle Black. You okay, know what I'm and I heard about Bo. I know he's a good person because the stuff I hear about him all the time is real loyal, and that's what I'm all about, loyalty at the end of the day. Man. Right, like, so it's like a family situation, yeah. man. And y'all, so most of what y'all do is like really family, it seems like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So what's going on? One more question for both, man. What's going on with Killer Clan, bro? Like I, like that was a, a, a group. You know what I'm saying? Paperboy, all them. I, I grew up rocking with y'all, man. Them my brothers. Them my brothers. Yeah. Uh, BFN, Mecca, Mac Mecca. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, we still there. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's forever. So so Killer Clan, that's gonna keep going. Oh, that's going forever. Till it, when you see me, you see Clan. I'm Clan forever. Right. That 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 override everything. 
All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I, that's me. When you see me, you see the clan. Yeah, bro. That's what you yeah. understand. What's going on, big bro? Chilling. So, I want to I wanna know. Like, I heard the story, like, how y'all linked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, what what really, like, set Bo apart? Like, in terms of, I know you said he was, like, a real dude. Like, one of the real ones. Like, what really set His spirit. Bo just Bo. Like, I just, if, if I lived in Chicago, I feel like I'd be Bo. Right. Like, I only meet people I feel like that's, that, 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 I feel like it's me. Right. Like, Bo stand for everything I literally stand for. Right. Like, that's just, that's just Bo. Hey, you know remember, I, you know what it just made me think? I remember Bo was on BT cooking. Cooking, niggas. yeah. Woo! He was cooking yeah. niggas. That, remember that, that Freestyle Friday? Yeah, yeah. That was actually probably like the first time I had, um, I had like heard your music. Right. Oh, and it's like the bars was crazy. I just felt like it took, it felt like it took like Chicago almost a little bit longer. Like it's like when y'all start rocking, it's like Chicago like went crazy for your music. But bro was cooking dudes for like. I was on parole too. I just came home from the joint. I wasn't even supposed to be in New York. Right. I went bogus. I didn't get no permission. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't see you on TV. Ass. I was like, shit. If they call me, I was gonna tell them. What would you rather me be doing? Something positive or? Going yeah. up in a motherfucker house like right. I was doing before, so right, it, right. Was, it was a chance that I took and I gambled and it paid off. Right, facts. You know? All right, now Walker, man, like a lot of people, they don't really like. I mean, I, I heard people say it before, but like, you ever like realize, bro? You like really like the Godfather, of, like drill rap, bro. Like the yelling on the on the beats and the like, the yeah, like the alley going crazy. Like a lot of Chicago rappers, bro. When your music came out, when it was like that, oh, let's do it. That let them gun sounds like them when them records came out, bro. A lot of Chicago, the younger rappers, they like model they music at the walk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like how you feel about that, bro? Like really, like kind of almost bust. starting. I don't, I don't care about that credit. I I, I, I am called people to go for helping people that I help, mm -hmm. and I, I honestly watch them take the credit for it. But that ain't, I ain't I ain't do it for credit though. Right. I did it for love. Right. They showed me so much love, I couldn't even but show love back. Right. I wasn't looking to sign. I never in my life signed nobody. Yeah. I, I didn't know what I was doing. I, I could have every. I could have literally eighty percent of music right now uh -huh. from producers to artists. But why I ain't sunk? I ain't know what I was doing. Me right. and Bo never signed no contract. Right. For and, what? And, you my dog. And the man, bro, about fifteen BSM chains spent a, a, a grip on probably more than that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and, and, and he helped a lot of, he influenced a lot of people. Like, this is one of the, one of the realest. I say that all the time. Even, even I was just talking to Gotti, and they were saying, like, like how Walker be in hoods he shouldn't be in in, in Memphis. Like, he be in, in the trenches, places where he shouldn't be. But right. when you real, and you got that, you know what I'm saying, that aura with you, the people going to fuck with what's real. And I got finesse for them chains. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he charged me over 300000 It wasn't even worth 50 Damn. I, just, I took the finesse for everybody, though. Right. You know, like, like, like we all learn do 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 our mistakes. Cause my mistakes is our mistakes. Like, I feel like all my, my we walk the same road, bro. Right. I was just a person with a name. Right. That's all. Like, I don't even feel famous right now. Right. Now, both of you be in different hoods. Cause get what? It's on me. I'm life yeah. security, baby, too. Yeah. You go, you go. I'm gonna take your ass out. Right. Sorry. <laughs> you, you could be, you could be 14 to 40. If you hear a demon, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring you to heaven. Right. That's nah. all I can tell you. So I remember that story when what you was at like at a car wash. Yeah. The motherfucker ran up on you at the car wash. You nah, you know, you know what? That's the reason why I'm on pop pill. Right, right. right. Nigga, I was on I was I was on four pills. I was geeked up. Yeah, Anybody like, know when you geek, you can't even move cause right, the road was coming in. Slow and shit. It ain't it ain't man, that was a blessing, bro. I promise to God, bro. If it wasn't if it wasn't for I got I I got shot and raw. When I caught my first robbery, two two red lights down, mm -hmm. no cap. That's Damn. how God worked. Damn. So thanks. So this whole like this whole Nipsey hustle situation, man. Like you know, Nipsey was like a good brother that was like in his community. You know what I'm saying? Being big homie, being big homie in his community. Like, like how did that affect you? Like that way how y'all move you and Bo. This is a question for you too, Bo. Like how did the whole Nipsey situation like kind of affect how y'all move? Just in the community, man, because you it know don't, it don't. It, 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 it don't affect nothing. 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 It don't I affect nothing. Have, you, you can't. You you can't. You can't. You can't put somebody else's life into your actions. Right, right, right. That's his life. Right. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't protected because people yeah. took what he was doing for granted. 
like he couldn't pull it off, but Bo was pulling it off. Right. He actually was knocking down all the walls that it was supposed to be knocked down. Right. And you don't know how many people try to connect me with Nipsey when it's like, like, I was like, hey, bro, it ain't time, bro. Like, when he get to where he going, it's going to be time. But that, he was gifted. But his work wasn't recognized until he right. passed away. And that's the sad thing. All right, man, bro. I appreciate y'all coming through. You know what I'm saying? Rocking with us, like I said, man. Y'all can follow us at Street Certified News, man. Man, appreciate you both. Man, I've been hollering. I've been hollering at I you know, too. I, I know who it is now. Okay. I, I put a face with the. Okay. Yeah, man, Street Certified News, man. Street certified Shout out Big Bo. Shout out Walker. Street Certified, man. They double blocks, man. Double blocks, man.